Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with another Pick a Deck reading in which we are going to find out what is coming next in love for you in uh, October 2020. So I have two decks here, pick whichever deck you want to choose to get the answer, what is coming up next in love for you in October 2020. I have two decks here, deck one which is the carrot one, deck two is the strawberry one. So whichever deck you want to go for, you can choose the deck. I will also add one oracle card as we go along with the reading. But before we start, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. And you can also check out my sister's tarot channel as well. I will be adding the link to her channel in the comment section. If you like it, you can always become a part of her YouTube family as well. So let's start with deck one, the carrot one. So for the people who chose deck one, the carrot, let's find out what is coming next in love for you in the month of October 2020, which is going on right now. So, yep. Let's see what can you expect coming up for you in the remaining month of October. And um, yep, let's see. <clears throat> Let's begin. Six of Wands. Wow, the Emperor. There's a success waiting ahead, you know, um, uh, in in your love life situation, especially if you have been um waiting to have the person in your life who you could get married to. It doesn't have to be somebody new. It can be somebody new. It can be somebody from the past as well. Again, it doesn't have to be somebody from the past, but yes, I do see somebody stable, somebody who's ready to propose you, who's ready to get married to you is entering into your life. Now, this person could be somebody that you already know and maybe you are waiting to reconcile with this person. For others of you, this person could be just a new person who is entering in your life and that person will only have one intention towards you, towards uh, the connection that they're going to start with you, which is going to be marriage. Like, you know, they really want to get into a committed relationship leading towards marriage. So I don't see this person is going to, you know, um, have fun and, uh, you know, just to have you. This person is basically not entering in your life just to have fun as in like, you know, the sexual thing and, you know, see how it goes and stuff like that. This person is somebody who's very really, um, traditional in a way because they really want to get married before they get sexual. That's what I'm picking up very strongly here. Um, some, for some of you, maybe it's an outdated concept, but for others of you, it's going to be something which is going to, um, which is going to make you feel so special because you might have been in sexual relationships with many persons, but none of them was, uh, you know, serious enough to, to take that connection to the marriage thing. So I feel like, you know, this is going to be something very special for you. This person not interesting in having just a sexual thing with you, but they're really looking forward to have a soulful connection with you. So that's going to be the energy of this person. So I feel like, you know, this person is going to be somebody outstandingly, um, um, the right kind of, you know, um, husband or wife that, that one can think of. That person is not going to bring your past in. That person is not going to, you know, ask for more than, uh, just one thing. They really want you in their life as your as your life partner. That's the only thing that they're going to ask you for. And they won't demand anything else. They would only ask you to love them and be theirs forever. So this person is going to be somebody who's, very, who's going to be very committed to you. Who's not going to have any interest in any other, you know, person of the opposite sex. They would be all yours and they would want you to be all theirs. So that's something which is coming up for you in the you know remaining month of October 2020 in your love life, which is something amazing to have. Whoever chose the carrot pie, uh, carrot deck, it seems like you know they are getting the fruits of their uh, you know uh, labor. If this is somebody from the past, even then too, and if it is somebody new in that situation too, I feel like you know it's like you know the answer to your prayers is what I'm picking up with the energy of this person. So definitely, this person is coming towards you to offer you abundance in love life let's take one last card and now uh, then we're gonna check the bottom of the deck five of swords um for some of you maybe this person is um 
they have or they will be choosing you maybe they have other options to choose from uh, because this is a love situation i'm not going to talk about the work and stuff like that but yes they are choosing you over anything and everything whoever this person is you are going to be the first priority for them so uh, maybe you know this is like a dream come true kind of a connection that you're going to be having with this person so it's like the best thing that you can have in the in, in your love life in the month of october so the remaining month of october is i don't know how the first half of the october has been for you but yes the remaining month is going to be extraordinarily good in terms of uh, your love life for sure underneath the deck we do have the hermit for you um <sighs> angels are basically um I feel like you know you have been very hopeful around your love life lately uh even though maybe things have been like i said maybe maybe things have been very rough in in your love life earlier uh in the past but yes you still were hopeful you still were looking for love you still were um open to have somebody who could give you this kind of love this kind of connection which is soulful meaningful committed um where you belong to each other you have that connection so i feel like you know this person is exactly you know um that one person that you were hoping to have in your life you were meditating on that you were praying on that and that prayer is getting answered for sure let's take one more card in that uh yeah karmic uh karma um which is the judgment card and then we do have two of wands and then we do have the chariot i feel like you know, as soon as this person enters in your life in the in the remaining month of october again it can be for some of you it can be a new person for others of you it can be somebody from the past as well but as soon as this person enters in your life like i said they are you know just offering you one thing which is a committed soulful connection so things gonna pace up very quick for the two of you and i feel like you know by the time of um you know the 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 winter starts like the december starts it's going to be like um you would be planning your marriage with this person already so yeah let's take one oracle card here let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys wow beautiful 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 uh lucky guys um uh, who have chosen uh this deck the carrot one wow <laughs> okay let's see I have no idea what's gonna come for the pile, uh, second pile, uh, second deck, but yep, this deck is like I'm happy for those of you who chose this deck for sure. Let's see, an oracle card, healer. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. I feel like you know, like I said, I feel like you know, you have um. You have been through a lot in your love life, but still, like I said, with this card, Hermit, uh, you know, underneath the deck, I did mention that, you know, uh, you have been, you know, very positive and hopeful around uh, around your love life. You were not, you know, somebody who has uh, uh, lost, you know, hope in love. It's it's like, you know, it's, it's coming for all of you who have, um, no matter what you've been through, you have not become rigid to yourself to the fact that love exists. And that's you who is manifesting this kind of, uh, you know, who is having, who is being blessed with this kind of person in their life. Because you stayed hopeful, you were, you healed yourself, you waited for the right person and there, there, there they comes. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the people who chose the deck one, which was the carrot deck. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. And um yeah let's move on to the second deck okay hold on yep for the people who chose pile strawberry uh sorry deck strawberry i've been doing picker cards lately so it seems like you know I, i'm so used to say pile instead of deck so yep anyways let's see for the people who chose deck two which is the deck strawberry <laughs> so yeah Let's see what is coming up for you in your love life in the remaining month of October 2020. Let's see what is coming next in your love life. What is coming next in your love life? What is coming next in your love life? What's coming up next in your love life in October 2020? Let's see. 
chicken, four of swords, the hermit, five of swords, the lovers. I do see you have to uh, make a decision in your love life in the month of October. Um, it seems like, you know, um, you might have uh, received a proposal, you know, uh, or you might, ha you, you might have already, but if not, then you will be receiving a proposal um, in, the, in the remaining month of October. And I do see you thinking a lot about it. I do see you thinking and contemplating should you go for it or should you wait for something to work out well for you in your love life. Maybe you are already connected with someone and you, you, you were not expecting that things going to change so swiftly for you. And now you are kind of uh, thinking and uh, just just um, trying to figure out what is going to be good for you. But I feel like you, know, you will be guided towards this you know person um whoever is ready to give you what you want whoever is like you know offering you the cup of love who is uh, whoever is like you know um offering you the stable connection here because i feel like you are indecisive about this person because for a majority of you i feel like you know you have um you have somebody else in your life right now and then this person enters and this person is like you know Somebody who is uh, willing to give you all that you want with your person. And uh, and this person, whoever it is, that is offering you is not the one that you uh, that you love. This person could be somebody exactly, you know, somebody maybe uh, from your friends and family. This person could be somebody new completely. But yes, this person is not who you love. So I do see you, you know, um, having to make a decision in your love life in the remaining month of October, which is going to be very tough for you. Um, you would feel the pull towards one person and at the same time, you you might have to leave this one person behind. Um, for very few of you, I feel like you know, as soon as this new person enters in your life, the person that you are waiting for, they too will open up about their feelings to you. That's going to happen for very few of you because I'm picking up that energy with this uh, Five of Swords energy here. It's like uh, somebody is going to choose you over... Um, um, somebody's going to choose you uh, over, you know, they're, if they have been, you know, uh, holding themselves back for whatever reason. Like maybe they they have other goals, they have family responsibilities, they had other issues to deal with first. If, uh, if this situation comes up, I do see that the person that you love will also come along and then it is going to get even tougher for you to decide because um, there will be some sort of family pressure involved or there will be some sort of families involved in one of the connection and then there is this one which you want or which you like, the person that you like. So it's going to be a tough decision for you to make. But I do see that you will have to make a decision around your love life. Let's take some clarifiers here around the situation. Um, Let's see. <clears throat> For some of you, maybe, you know, um, I feel like, you know, for those of you who picked up this deck, uh, you, you might be in late to you know, m you know, mid thirties or early thirties to late thirties, or if not, then tw uh, late twenties to mid thirties. Uh, why? Because I feel like, you know, you there has been a lot going on when it comes to, you know, the talks uh, about your love life in, in the recent uh, past. And it's like, you know, people have been talking about you and that has been like, you know, bothering you a lot. Um, when, when is she going to get married? When is he going to get married? And that has been bothering you a lot. And then comes this proposal and it's like now you feel like you know you are going to uh with this card here it seems like you know you are kind of you know celebrating the fact that the proposal that you got is of somebody who is very um you know um Somebody who's better than what you, uh, what your friends and family would like to uh, see you settling in with. I feel like you know there is going to be some sort of you know um, 
sense of happiness along with that you know that feeling where you where you really want to brag about something uh you really want to feel you really want to tell your friends and family look uh i got engaged or i got proposal from this guy or this girl so it's going to be that kind of a situation for you for some of you and um you are going to feel like you know uh some sort of victory over over what they used to tell you about you know you, you will never get married you will never find the one you have been this and that you are going to feel like you know you are like you know putting them all down now it's like you know you you have uh, maybe you were waiting on for a person and that person was not coming through and then suddenly this person is going to enter in your life and they are going to be ready to propose you or something around those lines people might have been telling you leave this connection leave this connection it's never going to work and stuff like that and then comes this person and it's going to be like you know a situation where you're going to feel like you know see i told you um they are going to come back they are going to offer me this and it's 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 going to be something like you know something around those lines where you are you know celebrating that um you know that finally this person came al came along or if not like i said in the first story that i picked up there might be two people involved for others of you i feel like you know, it's going to be that situation where you um where you have where you are maybe in late or mid you know um late 20s or you know mid th uh, 30s so maybe that's the reason why you are like you know um in that situation i don't see you confused if if that's the case then i don't see you confused because i feel like you know you are going to be like you know happy because it's it's like uh, maybe you also started fearing like you know if if you're going to stay single for the rest of your life or something along those lines if um, if that has been the case i feel like you know you are finally celebrating that fact that finally somebody is here in your life and um this person is like you know bringing a lot of happiness in your life with the sun card coming twice it's like you know this person is going to be your sunshine because the moment this person enters in your life your life is going to start uh, shining bright people could see the glow in you because you have been like maybe because of uh, what people were talking about you maybe that was kind of you know bothering you but a lot and maybe for some reasons maybe um you were waiting for some uh, for some of you maybe you were waiting on for a person and then enters this person and maybe in that situation too you are going to feel somehow i feel like you know you are happy with the situation for some of you maybe i feel like you know it's a uh, like i said earlier like for some of you maybe it's going to be tough for you to decide which one to choose but for majority of you i feel like you know you will be happily moving on even if you if you have the person from the past coming back along with this new person i feel like you know, you're going to choose the new person over the past person because this person is going to make you feel wanted uh make you feel um appreciated make you feel like you know you deserve it all and maybe in that situation you are going to feel like you know okay fine i i got the you know both of them and it was me choosing the one for myself it was not them choosing me or somebody else so it was your choice so um that could be, uh, that could be the case for some of you as well let's take um one oracle card now let's see what is coming up for you guys for you know for the remaining month of october in your love life as oracle guidance let's see Trust, leap into the unknown, have faith and more, move forward, believe you will fly. If you have been waiting on for a person and if you have a new person too, it is going to be your choice whether to choose the new person or the past person. Um, for uh, for some of you maybe you will have some fear around you know accepting the new person's offer you might be thinking about them but you have nothing to be fearful of you know even if the past person is coming back i feel like you know the energies are very clear and pure you can choose the past person if you want you can choose the new person if you want because both are serious both want to offer you something stable but at the same time for some of you maybe you still have the past uh, grudges and if that's the case i would suggest you to go with the new one because i feel like you know there was uh, there there won't be anything wrong with either one of them but yes i do see for some reasons because i feel like you know you are kind of um, um maybe there there is something that needs to be healed within you before you could you know get onto this new journey of your life with this new person um or this new connection that you could be starting off with the past person as well 
you have to leave the past behind in either you know choices that you make so um then only um you would enjoy it more because i feel like you know there there is some sort of um uh you need to free yourself from you know from what people made you go through you know be that the past person be that the people that were talking about you that you were still single because of your age or whatever um maybe they have seen you going in bad relationships and they thought that this is going to be one of them as well so then you got proposed by this person and this is like a miracle for them and now you're kind of you know happy trying to show off and stuff so yeah but yes i would suggest you to heal yourself completely so you could have the fun the soulful connection with the person who is entering into your life to to bring you that you know stable offer here so yeah this premise it can be for you for this uh, remaining uh, month of october in your love life if the reading resonated with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye